What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> day is it? The date? 12, May, Thursday. What year? What year is it? Maniac came out on January 30th, 1981 in the US and it's been 40 years since it's come out so I was like you know what perfect time to talk about the film. Just a brief summary of general thoughts. I like the film. It's good. It's very grimy. It's mainly because of the portrayal and acting of the killer whose name is John Spinell. Am I saying that right? John Spinell? Or not John. Joe Spinell. Sorry not John. Well, I don't know why I said John. But Joe Spinell. His portrayal of being the killer at night and going after specifically towards women because of his past and his issues from his you know family and his parents specifically and i love the scenes where you see the pain on his face like there's like the movie's not very long it's like an hour 28 minutes and there's like i don't want to say multiple because it's a short film but there's like some scenes where you clearly see pain on his face and it's great the portrayal of the serial killer is pulling away you know the layers to this character just by seeing his facial you know acting on that and it's great the opening credits where he's like getting dressed on and it's just like this super calm but it's also really creepy at the same time like when you see the opening credits he's just putting on his clothes getting ready for going out at night which is weird immediately you see a mannequin with the hair and all blood it's like like, oh, this time is all really off about this guy. Immediately, you're just like, oh shit, he's killer. And it's just like this calm music, or just nothing's happening. I don't think there's any music. It's just opening credits. He's just calmly just doing everything, like everything's normal. It's like, this is fucking creepy. This is really like already kind of like, ooh, I don't want to hang out with this guy. And his first on screen victim is a prostitute, right? However, when he starts showing her out, he sees like a different face. I'm assuming this face is his mother or his past girl or something. Uh, I'm gonna say it's his mother, right? You know, later on in the scenes of hearing mommy and whatnot, shows the prostitute out. Tom Savini does the special fuck make. I already know, based on Friday 13 and whatnot, blood and gores and great in this scene or in this scene and just anything in this movie and he like cuts her head opens it up and i was like oh what the hell is going on he takes the hair of ladies and puts on mannequins and dolls because he has a thing for it. he has a fascination with them i think he like proceeds to licks it or something and he goes down on it and then it cuts does he lick that shit i'm assuming that scene is left for you know imagination which is like he probably licked that shit right or either way let's just move on from that you know he keeps doing this throughout the film at night he goes up the people or not i will say it gets a bit repetitive where he does the same thing at night right he like stalks women specifically and it goes after them at night and he's, he's doing this like three times in a row and that's like the first 30 to 40 minutes and he meets this girl like midway in this the girl that's into like photos or whatnot he like goes on a date with her or not date with her but he meets her at her job and whatnot i like that aspect but the first 34 minutes does feel like rinse and repeat which is fine but it's definitely like not much is going on here other than some you know cool kills which i don't mind and creepy atmosphere and very grimy I mean, he goes you know meet that couple I mean, he shoots the guy's head with a gun bam it explodes awesome stuff from tom zavini and he actually guts the girl in her head and puts her hair on, on a mannequin again like, there's just scenes of him just talking to himself and his mannequin's like this guy's messed up in the head and he needs help and his third victim a prolonged chase throughout new york in a subway or whatnot and it obviously plays in that trip where she think you know he's gone she laughs it out it was like nope he gets this fucking sword oh by the way he has weapons they show he seems to be having weapons or whatnot crazy stabs her in her back kills her again guts her head more scenes of him in his bed and it, you know this movie is low budget which testament to how creative you know some people may be I did like the whole low budget grimy feel to it. I think it add to atmosphere and suspense to this film, even if it's kind of rinse and repeat in the first like 34 minutes. Now, I believe this is where he meets the girl with the you know photos and whatnot, goes to her house, he starts dressing up differently because the way he dresses is very like homeless like. It again adds it to more how creepy he is. He even talks about how artists and you know, referring to the fact that he sees that killing women and putting hair on these mannequins are art. But he tells her a different story about painting and whatnot. And then his final victim, I guess the final girl, even though this final girl doesn't get developed at all, she's just a girl. He saw in the park. It was like i know her name it's like annie or anna or something and again she's like an artist she goes into his car figures out that he's a creep so she runs away from him there's the typical run and whatnot she has uh, the shovel in a cemetery uh, knocks off his arm like rips it and then yeah he starts having like hallucinations he starts hearing mother his issues within his, his own head his own mind all the trauma that he's gotten again more pulling back the layers you don't actually see flashbacks but again it's just left to the audience's imagination to see how he was messed up as a kid how he got abused by his parents it's like the mother did not help at all because he blames mother for what happened to him i think i think that's the story that's just me assuming shit maybe i'm just misinterpreting this film and then he goes back into his little house and whatnot he lays there and there is this jarring scene this creepy scene where all the mannequins come back as the you know, woman he's killed they gut him or not turns out when the cops get there it's all like in his head he like i think commits suicide. he like guts his stomach himself while all the mannequins are still there cops are like oh he committed suicide they go back out and then they do the whole like jason close up with his eyes and it opens 
it's like all right they didn't need that that was part of the thing back in the day that they did but because they were expecting a sequel which i don't think there's a sequel there's a remake it's not a sequel i don't think maybe there is maybe there is who knows maybe there is now oh never there is maniac 2 mr robbie hold on oh never mind. it's a horror short okay so there technically is a sequel but it's a well i'm not talking about that then i'm sure i'll watch it i'm not gonna make a video about it so i guess there was a sequel but it's just a short but yeah like a really effective little like low budget slasher film i was not expecting like the poster it's a cool looking poster that's what i sort of gravitate towards i was like cool looking poster it's a slasher film in the early 80s hopefully it's good and it is good i like again grimy atmospheric stuff playing out the layers of the backstory of our main killer played by joe spinell great facial like, expressions acting on that part and, like two notable like kills that i like is the head explosion with the gun and like carving of the, the head to the hair stuff that's good but aside from that everything's pretty much just all right in terms of the kills but they're good they're bloody they're good however despite this i do feel that the film oh i do like the atmosphere and everything about it it just i don't know maybe it's just me not liking low budget stuff this is a good like, example of low budget movie but it's just i don't know maybe it's just me i don't know just it, it was missing something i don't know i just i don't know what it is i do like the film i do think it's good i just think that something was missing despite this again whatever that doesn't matter it's still a good movie and go watch this film i would recommend this film if i'm assuming that everyone's seen this film already except for me i would never seen it before so 40 years later maniac is still pretty darn good so that's it for maniac 40 years later my next video i'll actually won't see what my, my next video is but that's it for this i guess second episode so this has been the road so far and thank you for watching